to have ease with the percentage question you must understand the following just go through this list now if this percentage is a profit percent if this is a profit percent then what's going to be the selling price if your profit percent is 500% your selling price is going to be 600% of cp reason you are getting the profit as 500% so you are getting your invested money also and you are getting 500% extra okay of the invested money so basically 100% plus 500% is 600% similarly if your profit percent is 400% then selling price is 500% of cp because you are getting your 100% back and extra 400% back similarly all of these if your profit percent is 100% selling price is 200% because you are getting your cost price 100% and 100% profit over it so 200% if your profit percent is 50% then you are getting your invested money full 100% and 50% extra so 150% here 25% extra so 125% here 10% extra then 20% extra 75% extra which means this now these could be uh, for mental maths if we understand them in the fractional form that's also good okay uh, first of all 600% means 6 times of sp so if you have invested if you have invested 200 rupees and you are earning 500 profit then your selling price is gonna be 600 percent of cp that means six times of cp and your cp was 200 that means your selling price is gonna be six times 200 which is 1200 okay so this this provide an ease to do mental maths if we focus here 150 percent means 200 percent means twice 150 percent means one full and half times okay so if you have invested 200 rupees and you are having a 50 percent profit then you are getting 150 percent of cp back as okay um, so your selling price is one and half times of your cp and if you have invested 200 rupees you are getting one and half times of it means you are getting 200 to i rai but you are getting 100 more that means 300 that's called one and half times okay so do understand this but in case if you don't have a profit instead you have a loss okay if you have a law for loss of 500 percent ye situation to possible nahi hai aapne paisa aapne koi cheez liya aap usko free mein de doge to that's gonna be uh, no loss means that's gonna be um, no loss no profit you're selling in the same amount okay uh, so 100 percent loss is possible ki pura ka pura chala gaya your selling price is zero but 500 percent loss ye thoda sa it's not normal okay ho sakta hai but it's not normal kaise ho sakta hai aapne um, kisi ko free mein cheez bhi di aur extra paise bhi de di that's gone that that can be counted as the more loss but uh, that's quite um, that's not very normal now if you have 100 percent loss then your selling price is zero if you have 50 percent loss to aapko aapka cp bhi wapis nahi mil raha hai so how much is selling price only 50 percent of cp if you have a 25 percent loss to aapka selling price aapko cost price pura nahi mil raha hai 25 percent less mil raha hai that's why selling price is 75 percent of cp if 10 percent loss then selling price 90 percent and similarly all of these okay and in the fractional form they are good to understand selling price is 50 percent of cp that means uh, your selling price is half of CP. So if you have a 50% loss, 50% loss, then your selling price is 50% of CP. And if you have invested 900 rupees, then your selling price is half of 900, which is 450. Okay. And if you have a 25% loss, okay, 25%, then your SP is 75% of CP, which is three fourth of CP okay so if cp would be given you can easily find that find that out uh, find out find out selling price 
okay so so you'll you'll get an ease in the mental maths of these questions if you understand all of this okay now if you have this question that a loss percent is 25% and if cp is 500 find sp or sp is 1200 find cp so very first thing you just have to focus on this just forget about these two whatever the question is just focus on the rate whether the rate is a loss percent or it or it is a gain percent as this is 25% loss that means aapko aapka cp pura wapas nahi mil raha hai okay kitna hai to in the aapka situation kya hai that your selling price is not equals to cp it's actually equals to 75% of 75% of cp which can also be called sp is equals to if you reduce it you'll get 3/4 but you have to remember that 75% is 3/4 you can reduce it with 25 25 3 is 75 25 4 is 100 so your selling price is equals to 3/4 of cp so bas you just have to write this first and now you are ready to handle the question if you are getting a part that cp is 500 so that that's quite simple and your selling price is 3/4 of 500 okay and you can easily sort it out and you can find out the selling price okay but if you're getting the b part then how to do what to do then your b part is that your selling price is 1200 what does this mean that 1200 is actually 1200 is actually equals to Three fourth of CP. Okay, so what what did I tell you? If you get this question, so you just have to focus on loss percent is twenty five percent. That means selling price is seventy five percent of CP. Selling price is three fourth of CP. So if CP is given, you will substitute CP and sort out the question, find out the selling price. But if your selling price is given, you will write selling price here, and which is equals to three fourth of CP. And now you can actually write it as 3/4 of x because cp is missing so we'll write it x whenever something is missing we do write it as x and you know how to sort out this equation okay so this is how you can easily handle the things but uh, what you you should know these all basics okay from which i started the video